Welcome to Electro Online. Another very interesting discovery that was made almost 100 years ago by the famous astronomer Hubble was that galaxies appear to be moving away from us. Not only that, he realized that the farther the galaxies were, the faster they were moving. And so began to make a plot between the distance, the presumed distance of the galaxies, versus how fast they were moving. Of course, he was using the redshift of the light that we were seeing. The farther the, the galaxies were, the greater the redshift. And so he was able to make a comparison, or he was able to make a graph that related the distance of the galaxies to the speed at which they were moving away. And he found that when he plotted them on a graph, that he found a linear relationship. In other words, a galaxy that was twice as far away was moving, or this way, a galaxy that was twice as far away was moving twice as fast, one that was three times as far away was moving three times as fast, and so forth. And that seemed to be the case for the entire universe. So what does that mean? Well, take a look here. We're in our Milky Way, Milky Way galaxy. We're looking around us at our neighbors, and we see those galaxies moving away from us. And sure enough, if they're farther away from us, they move faster. If they're closer to us, they move slower. And so that is what, what Hubble was discovering. And then he began to realize, well, if that's the case, it's kind of like a raisin loaf. If you're trying to make a raisin bread, you make the dough and you put raisins in there, and of course you have yeast inside the dough. As you're allowing the dough to rise, the raisins move away from each other, just like galaxies move away from each other in the universe. And two raisins that are close to each other don't move quite that fast away from each other. Raisins that are far away from each other, they move a lot faster. The reason? It's the amount of dough in between, because it's not really the raisins that are moving. The raisins are stuck in the dough, and the, as the dough is expanding, the raisins are moving away from each other. And the more dough there is in between the raisins, the faster the raisins appear to be moving away from each other. And of course, the less dough, the slower. And the same analogy was true for the whole universe. The galaxies were moving, but not because they're actually moving. They appear to be moving because the space in between is expanding. Just like the dough and the raisin bread, the space is actually expanding. And the more space is between galaxies, the faster the galaxies are moving away from each other. And the reason why I believe that's the case, because it's that perfect linear relationship. Twice the distance, twice the speed, three times the distance, three times the speed. The only way this could be explained was that not that the galaxies were moving, because there's no way that we can presume any sort of theory that would allow galaxies to move away from each other proportional to the distance between them, unless there was space in between them that was actually expanding. And another case is that even though we're in the Milky Way galaxy and seeing everything move away from us, if you had an alien living on another galaxy, they would see the exact same thing. They would look around them and they would see everything move away from them in the very same fashion. No matter what galaxy you're on, you see the very same thing from any vantage point anywhere in the universe. And so, it turns out it's not the galaxies that are expanding, it's space itself. Space is expanding and not, of course, the empty space is what we call the fabric of space, the three-dimensional fabric of space or, as you like, the medium of space. It's space itself that's unfurling and everything else in the universe is just moving along with it. So again, there's ample evidence in different ways that tells us that it's space itself that has a fabric, a property, a quality to it that makes the universe what it is. And here's another example, the discovery of the Hubble law by Hubble, which gives us more information in the quest to understand what space actually is. Mm -hmm. If we are looking from the alien point of view, the, um, the star, the Milky Way, one of the galaxies closer to him is the one that's moving on its back. Correct. If you look at it from the alien's perspective, as you indicated, the galaxy that's closer would not move as fast, the one that's far away would move faster, and the one that's really far away here would move really fast relative to the perspective of the alien. So it really doesn't matter which galaxy you're on, you see the same thing happening everywhere. So this galaxy would be moving that direction, this galaxy would move this way, this galaxy really far away would move really fast. Same thing with the raisins. 
Same thing with the raisins, you're correct. So you're looking for a raisin on the side of the raisin bread. So if you are an alien living on this, <laughs> on this raisin, <laughs> you would see all the other raisins move away from us, from, from you, and depending upon how far away they are, they will move faster and faster and faster, as seen by that alien. It's a, an amazing universe, and yes, indeed, there is something to space, more than meets the eye.